Diego and Carlos are identical twins. They both have the same genetic makeup, but they are two very different brothers with very different traits. Diego enjoys soccer, while Carlos loves the violin. Diego is right-handed, while Carlos is left-handed. In the same way that people can have the same genetic makeup but exhibit different characteristics, so too can elements on the periodic table. When a pure element can exist in different forms and exhibit different properties, those different forms of that element are known as allotropes. Allotropes occur when an element such as carbon can configure itself in such a way that its structure and properties change, even though it is made up of the same element. Because of carbon's ability to form four bonds, it has many different allotropes that each have their own unique properties and uses. Three main allotropes of carbon are graphite, diamond, and Buckminster fullerene. Graphite is most commonly referred to as pencil lead, although it has nothing to do with lead at all. In fact, graphite is made entirely of carbon. How those carbon atoms are arranged is what gives graphite its properties. In graphite, carbon atoms arrange themselves in two-dimensional layers that are stacked on top of each other. Each sheet of carbon atoms sort of resembles chicken wire bonded together with the next layer. The stacked layers, with all the empty space in between, are what makes graphite so flaky and brittle. That space also allows electrons to flow through, which gives graphite the ability to be a conductor. Believe it or not, diamonds are another allotrope of carbon. You may be wondering how it is possible for graphite and diamonds to be made of the same thing, but it is entirely possible because their different structures give them different properties. Whereas graphite is formed using flat sheets of carbon atoms, diamonds are made up of a complex three-dimensional lattice structure that is responsible for the strength of diamonds. In fact, a diamond is one of the strongest materials in the world, often used on the tips of high-end tools for cutting glass or drilling concrete. Because of its lattice structure, though, it is difficult for electrons to flow through, so it does not make a very good conductor. Buckminster fullerene, or a buckyball, is another example of an allotrope of carbon. In this allotrope, carbon is arranged in a three-dimensional shape similar to a soccer ball. The caged shape gives it many unique properties which are still being studied by scientists. Buckyballs were discovered by scientists in the 1980s and were given their name after scientist and architect Richard Buckminster Fuller, who first explored the geometric structure that buckyballs exhibit. Other than the three main allotropes of graphite, diamond, and Buckminster fullerene, scientists continue to discover new allotropes for this amazing atom. For example, engineers and scientists are especially curious about graphene, which is made from one single sheet of the carbon atoms that make up graphite. Whereas graphite is very soft, graphene is one of the strongest materials known. It is very flexible, lightweight, and is a great conductor. Its discovery in the 1980s led to a Nobel Prize for the researchers, and it continues to be a focus of scientific and experimental study today. When graphene is rolled into a tube, it produces another allotrope of carbon known as a carbon nanotube. Nanotubes exhibit many different properties depending on how they are rolled together and the interactions between the carbon atoms. It is a growing field of research and has important implications for scientists and engineers alike. Different forms of the same atoms of a pure element are known as allotropes, and their structure often affects the properties that the allotropes exhibit. Graphite, diamond, and buckyballs are all allotropes of carbon, yet they exhibit very different structural shapes and properties. Researchers are still learning about new allotropes of carbon, such as graphene and nanotubes, and they continue to study the applications of these forms of carbon daily.